It's not commercial unless you're doing a gangster movie. But Snoopy would get you okay. going. Okay, all right. But he would probably do your Gillette. Okay. And he would do everything else. Okay, all right. Well, see, that's good. She knows she hangs out in Hollywood. I that's do, right. Unfortunately. She does a great job. I appreciate that. You Is know that what? all the mail you that's have? That's it, me? the mail. We well, about I to gotta go. go. Oh, you do it. Oh, well, that's what you do kegels and allow you to control that. Because <laughs> you women going to be able to tighten that down. Like, <laughs> I have to be so careful what I say. On this I know, show. I know. I can't be coming, I can't be going, and I can't be doing any of the other. Save all that. That's right. <laughs> you can't do it. That shit That's what here. I'm saying. You can't I ain't in charge of it. Oh, there you go. Time oh, to get out of here. No tongue. <laughs> Why? Why do you subject me? Oh, you, you know what. Here? And you guys, we appreciate that. We did this just for DeVoe because she wanted to see the hot picks and she wanted to see the men first. Mario's going to give her a little time. You okay, DeVoe? I'm trying to give you some time. Oh, no. Guys here that's okay Mario by himself because he's that's so okay. gonna make that money that's okay we did this show just this segment to rush through it because she really comes on this show to see high picks and so we we switched the roles and put the men first Mario we're gonna judge the ladies because we now know who the most commercial is on the she man don't want us to done she's afraid of those lesbian moments <laughs> <laughs> we love them we love them <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And we'll be there okay. next time. Wash I'll see your, you. Wash your hands. We'll wash our hands. Nice. All right, man. It's left up to the men here to sit back and go to the ladies and the crowd that's waiting out there for those who want to pick a 10. And Mario, it looks like we're on time, man. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, we're going to go with the ladies. And on the ladies' side, I'm going to say one thing, man. Uh, and even before I say anything, just keep an open mind. Don't get too, don't penalize. Let Natalie Marie of Los Angeles, California let you know you want something different? Well, I have it. And she got something different, man. Man, I can use that to get those cobwebs off the ceiling. <laughs> you see, you wrong. Sometimes those, you, know, you can't get those spider webs up there. <laughs> Come on, and man. And if she can jump up and down, and if she does it with the top off, you get to see her titty swing and her hair dust the ceiling. You, uh, I'm giving her a 9.5. You are. Because she's pretty, I would just make her do unnatural things because she came in with her hair like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me she, ask you, I'm sure she's used to that. Let me ask you this: If she, if you, if you met her and her hair was not like that, and she came out on her first dinner date with the hair looking like that, what would you feel? Well, that's a whole different thing because, see, with that hair, I want her to stand behind me so I can tuck it between my thighs and let it come out in the front like a bush. You know what? I, when you got a woman with hairdos like this, you do unnatural shit like that to her. So, but are, you do. Is, you wait. You hide things in it. You do all kind of stuff. Is she being creative? Yeah, you love them for it. Okay, and you know As what? I said I gave her nine point five because she's sexy, fine, but I would mess with you. Oh yeah, I got oh yeah. You. When you come, I got to mess with you. Yeah, I agree. at the end of the day, you might find a few juju bees up in there. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. A couple of lifesavers. Okay, you guys, you see what's happening here. You see what's happening? Okay. I would put all kinds of That's shit up in your hair. Okay. Just to mess with you. Now, I'm going to say this. First of all, if I mean, it, it's bold to do a hair statement like this, and she's wearing it, and she looks like a model. So I ain't going to be mad at her. And I'm looking at it as a commercial model, nothing else. She's almost a 10. I wish I could see more. So I'm right along with you. I'm giving her. A nine point two five. I'm yeah. nine point two five because I want to see more. That's She's just like, you can talk about me, baby. Just give me the numbers. <laughs> you know you I say yes, girl. <laughs> yes, girl. Here they go. Here they go. All right. You know what, you guys? It's time to sw swing on another one. And Eris Prada is a returnee. She always has picks that's pretty hot, but this time she comes always. in triplicate. And in triplicate, she says another girl with boots in the desert. Mario. But she's Which, always fine. And, and you, you know, I appreciate her getting dirty for us. <laughs> just for us rolling the dust. Right. Got, you know, you get a girl like this gets a rash out there in the natural state. How is she going to promote this if you're not Look adding, at her boot, man. She you got dirt add, all over her boots. You got to, first of all, rash. You're going to relate rash. I'm just saying, look at her. You know when she's down there, there's some termites in that sand. Won't so, you rescue her? I would, man, and give her a ba I'd bathe her and oil up. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to give her a 10. We I know mean, she's fine. I know. See, Mara's going to give her a 10 because Eris knows how to present herself. I'm going to say the same I'm going to say the same she's thing. A bad it's, girl. It's hard to look at what's wrong just to complain about it. She has commercial value, period. Now, with commercials, I'll leave that up to the imagination. So she gets a 10. Now, it gets a 10 from me as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're going to go on to another. And she basically calls herself Jessamine. 
And Jessamine is out in New York, New York. She says, girls love a one-piece outfit. And Mario, have you seen a one-piece outfit like this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, they can jump. <laughs> and they can bust all out like the best of them. And you know what I love about her? She got a nice, clean armpit. <laughs> Haven't seen an armpit that cleanly shaven. <laughs> right. Oh, she looks luscious. Breast is Man, that's some luscious. Yeah. Grade A. 10, Vic. Yeah. Oh, ten. A 10? 10. Some stuff you, 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 wanna, you can't wait to taste it. You know what? Scratch and sniff. <laughs> Snip, scratch and sniff. Okay, okay. I'll have to jump over here with Mario and say this. All right. Mm. Mar, is this really a commercial shot, or is no, this just it's a not gut- commercial? Because it's, it's the outfits fucked, the backdrops <laughs> no good. Come on, man. The hair but I don't she- know, but she's one fine. And for us, it's it's a it's, it's a ten. Right. Now, okay. How about commercial? They won't use this because unless she's advertised some freak fetish outfits <laughs> in uh you know in in, in fetish mag. <laughs> Well, hey, look. Here's, I give her. I give. I think she's wonderful, and yeah. I give her a ten. Well, you know what? The one thing you're right about when you see this woman's profile, this is the most risque profile shot. Her other shots are very commercial. This one is a different theme, and Screw I think commercial. And, and you know what, Mark? Here's the part. Most of the time, when you see shots like this, everybody's profile is just about like this. They usually put all their photos like this, but this is the one where she goes like this. But when you see her other stuff, Who? very good quality. Some titties are oh, just so likable oh, that they become like the titty standards. Okay. See, every now and then you hit like a titty model, and okay. you say, if you could just take these breasts, and when you look up good looking titties, <laughs> this is the picture that would jump up. I'm trying to help you. Um, I'm just saying, this is hot It's picks. not my fault. It's everybody, fault. even the women going, damn, her breasts look. I said, everybody's saying, uh, yeah, yeah. your breastuses are snicky snack. Well, I, first of all, that's a, a some kind of definition. Jessamine, don't even worry about it. He'll explain it you to you later. You know it's snicky snack. I, I'm just saying. Used to hate them till I ate them. <laughs> no, I'm saying, this outfit that you have is hot. Can, not everybody can wear it. Can't eat just one. Can't eat just one. And he's right. Clean shot. But when you see the other picture, and look at her them, armpits. It's, it's hot. The it's, Photoshop it's hot, that man. It's a hot shot. She's that clean cut, right? Shaven. Does the rest of it look like that? But is it all red, baby? You know what? <laughs> I'm a. I'm a move on. It's time for us to vote who we think is the number one. You know we have to go here before Mario has a conniption. Jessamine, one piece outfit. She's putting it down. Uh, let's see if we got number two up here. Oh. Eris Potter. Oh, uh, Eris, you got some. You got a competition this week. Yeah, she does. And the true model. This this woman's a model with the volcano hair. Natalie Marie. I mean, she's she's, she's a model. Fine. She's fine. I we mean, gave them all good numbers. But I know which one you want. But tonight I'm going with the other white. I, I knew it. I I'm knew taking it. her and making some interesting looking children. Yeah, I figured you would. I figured you would. You know, they'd be, still be fine. Yeah. Exotic, erotic. Well, you know, I, look. The obvious choice is Eris Potter. Because she has three photos. But if I had to just look at a straight fashion pick, I would I go number the, one. I know you need number one because, Amazon. Because, but you know what? You like him over six feet. Because she, you know what? The, the, the issue is is that that hairstyle thing. Put some Christmas tree lights in it. You know what? <laughs> It'd really be fashionable. Okay. So, so, honorable mention. Yes. She came in everybody's number two. Because she came number one last time. Yeah, she? She's my number three. I know. Michelle, she came in honorable mention. But I gotta go with us. Ooh. I know. We split. Where are you? New York. Should've yeah. known. Yeah, New York. And for the man, Snoopy. <laughs> you know what? He's a handsome cat. We gave no, I gave him my I'm eight. pretty sure the ladies like this brother. I and mean, then we got this one. Yo, yeah, DeVoe's right about player, it. Player, player. Yeah, too neat probably. But and he's then still, you got uh, Leonardo DiPriccio. He's probably an actor <laughs> and we don't know it. So I go with Leonardo. You go with Leonardo. I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna say uh, on commercial value, you're right. You're right. Danielle Herman wins on commercial value. As far as the ladies, I, I have no idea. I think DeVoe's right number two. They, they'd all love number two. And I have no idea. I think this brother definitely can play a role. He I can hang they, out, though. And, and this, Come on, let's go chase some ladies. And you know what? And this is not a professional photo, really, Mark. I think it's one of those photos you caught him in a moment. If he was really doing a photo shoot, he'd probably have a little bit better chance. So, bottom line, that's it, man. We are done with Hot Picks. We ran through what we call the speed program of morning coffee. We did it. We did it. Hot Picks. Hot Picks. Stay tuned tomorrow, you guys, just so you know that Stephanie Ray, the gifted one, is going to be here. And Crazy Jesse is going to be sipping and schmoozing with the morning coffee crew. All you, man. Man, that was wild. Yes. 
Yes. Wow, 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 wow. And so come and tune in tomorrow. We're going to have more wonderful multimedia. Yes, sir. More interesting things. We're going to have the busty one, you say. <laughs> you know what? So it's going to be all goo-goo and gaga. <laughs> right. I may even dress differently myself. <laughs> right. I may gird my loins in an iron jock again for just for this tea. Oh, Lord. I want to say thanks to all my friends out there. Mike McAllister. Okay, Black Chaos. Yes, sir. Norman Ross. The whole team. Out there living, surviving in the cold as it's officially winter now. Yes, sir. And we would give you some Christmas songs, but instead we'll send you out with something different. How yeah. about... Send them wherever you like. I'm giving my love out to my sister, Paya. Happy birthday yesterday. She sent it out to Hawaii. Right now, she's actually on the plane. I'm mad at you. I'm real mad at you. I, I, send me a picture of a Hawaiian and a black man's feet so I can lie and tell you, mm. tell everybody I was there. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> See ya! <laughs>